Are you going to be selling any video games? No. None? I'm, maybe I might have a guitar hero later, but... <laughs> right. I have a whole bag of old, um... Old Xbox? PlayStation? I have to look. Are you looking for anything specific or just... Uh, I like the older stuff. Stuff I grew up you playing. I know exactly where it's at. Okay. I just don't know if he wanted to 100% sell those or give them uh, to his brother. Oh. Let me check and see. It's an entire bag of stuff my husband put together. Okay. What is up, everybody? It is Wick here, and as you may have heard, we are at some yard sales, and that lady brought me out some pretty nice video game stuff. I'll have it at the end of this video, along with everything else I found today, and it turned out to be a very good day yard selling again. We've been killing it every weekend, and uh, yeah, we're at this sale now, looking for uh, some more goodies. And we've got some toys here, and I'm not seeing much of anything. There's a few toys that you could maybe make a little bit of money on. I'm trying to find things that flip quicker and make me at least $10 profit uh, fast. I don't want to spend a lot of time cleaning something where I'm only going to make $5 or $10. It's kind of the, the idea. i got some books down there, and nothing great that I noticed. Free box. You know we're going to dig through every free box and uh because i have to mention it i found a nintendo 64 before in a free box uh, a lot of people you know don't watch the videos if you haven't heard that i think that's pretty awesome i found electronics so free boxes always check action figures you never know so we're here we've spot this lego toy brand new five dollars didn't have to look it up i just grabbed it i knew i was buying it and it turned out to be a very good piece uh, this garage sale was supposed to have a Wii. I saw it on Facebook and it, they did have it. It was over by, um, the person that had the money. Uh, it was $125 and unfortunately it just didn't have great games. There was Smash. I tried to buy it separately. They wouldn't sell it to me. Uh, so I just decided to pass on it. No need to spend that much money. Uh, there'll be more Wii opportunities. I've already picked up like four or five Wiis this year. Been finding incredible video game stuff. Over here, I see these Rokenbach blocks, I think they are. I've picked these up before at Goodwill. They're good to part out, make some money, but eh, they wanted $50 for them. And they got the eBay printout going on, so we decided just to pass on those as well. We're at another sale. We got some shoes, some Reebok over here. I couldn't tell if they were new or not. Uh, priced up a bit. We got golf clubs down here. I did pick up some golf clubs today just not here i uh, forget what brand those were and what they were priced at kirby here 250 dollars for a kirby so a lot of these neighborhood sales the prices can be kind of high and they can be really picked over because so many people come to them so a lot of times i like to go out of the way a little bit so at this yard sale i spot this ll bean messenger bag vintage uh, i think it's vintage anyway but Kind of a bolo, these L.L. Bean bags, L.L. Bean totes. Some of the totes can sell for hundreds, um, up to $300 I've seen them sell for. And that bag over there was a fossil. I don't think it was worth as much. But this, this L.L. Bean's a little beat up, $10. I ended up making a deal, getting it for about 7 And some boots back there, they were $50. I didn't pick those up. So yeah, something to keep an eye out for. L.L. Bean bags, especially the vintage stuff. We're just going to keep moving right along to another sale. Uh, there are quite a few sales today. A lot of them were just sales like this where I had a lot of stuff, a lot of kids' clothes, a lot of knickknacks, stuff that I don't really buy. Doesn't mean you can't find something. So like I say all the time, you got to look, you got to ask, uh, especially about video games or stuff you're looking for. Uh, what we got here is some animals. I thought these might be Little Peoples or Fisher Price or Schleich or something like that. But I think it's just a mixed bag of just random animals. One had like a wind up on it and maybe even been a McDonald's toy. So I ended up passing on that and we got a bunch of like Christmas stuff. Some of that stuff can be very high dollar. I don't know every brand to look for. If I spot something unique enough or old enough looking, I usually... You know, look more into it otherwise i just keep walking got some pet stuff here uh here's <laughs> something I, I feel like i find every weekend right hometics massager this is a nice one it looks like it has all the attachments five bucks so we grab that 
Uh, I got a monitor, a TV, stuff like that. I'm not really looking to buy nothing high end. Uh, just keep moving right along. Looked at this luggage. I should have paid more attention to it. I don't know if it was actually old. Some vintage luggage does very well. My impression was it was newer and made to look old. So, uh, yeah, I just decided to pass on it. I think they were priced like $20 a piece. So I spot some hats in a box. <laughs> I come over here to look at those because I really have been into finding some vintage hats. Like the, the cooler, the better, the 90s uh, stuff. And right on top is this Tommy Hilfiger hat, which I decided to buy because some of those can be very good. Um, but a lot of these hats are like mid-2000s, kind of like obscure racing hats. Uh, I just didn't want to drop $2, you know, on some of these. I didn't know the value of. If you spot something that's like amazing, let me know. But some of them were like local. Some of them were, as you see, Monster there, uh, 54. I just don't think there's a lot of value. A lot of shirts to go through. Most of those are like the same mid 2000s, just stained racing shirts. Not really looking to buy those. I am looking to buy these though, Stephen King books, uh, all in this basket. And yeah, I bought all of them. That's, I noticed they're all Stephen King, a dollar for paperback, $2 for hardcover. So we grabbed that. There is some toys there. I don't think were anything special. I maybe could have looked into it more. Uh, but yeah, there's so many people at that yard sale, so we got out of there. And I'm looking at another free box. You know I'm going to check every free box. i got to record every free box as well, because if I find another Nintendo 64, no one's going to believe me unless I have it on camera. Come over here, I swap some of these bags. Figure, hey, we already bought one bag. Let's see if we can find another. And we did, this Marmot bag. Pretty nice bag for $10. I decided to buy it because I was going to keep it for myself or sell it based on the value. I think I'll probably end up selling it. Looks like it will sell for about $50. So yeah, glad to have that. And out of the corner of my eye over here, I spot two Xbox units and an Xbox One. And I'm like, ooh, I kind of want these. Let me hurry up and record some stuff. <laughs> I buy that stuff. Uh, but out of the corner of my eye, again, at the bottom, peeking out from under here, there were some games. She told me that she forgot to put them out. Uh, not a whole lot of good stuff in there, though, unfortunately. But the Xbox One there, I did end up getting for $20 with some games, controller, and stuff. So be showing that. Got some Lego here. And I don't know if it was actually Lego. I don't know the price on that either. Just kind of that mixed bag I wasn't too into. Troll doll. I don't know why I didn't pick this up. I think it was, it was dirty. I usually pick up vintage troll dolls. I don't even know if it was vintage. I'm assuming they never remade those things. Little Dr. Seuss bag, a uh, little Disney game that wasn't worth anything, some children's clothes, uh, but yeah, nothing else here. So yeah, the storm came in and there we go, we are driving. We still got another yard sale to go to, so that's not going to stop me. I actually like uh, going to garage sales in the rain because it stops a lot of the competition. So we're going to go see what this last garage sale has and... Unfortunately, not a whole lot. And there's some fishing stuff, vintage. I thought maybe there's some good lures in there, but that was filling up with water. I <laughs> uh, didn't see anything good in there. We got some, some tools and random hardware type stuff. Pouring the rain, and I just don't really see much. And unfortunately, though, I asked the lady about video games, and she said the two people that just walked out of here were asked the same thing. So even the rain can't keep us game hunters away, apparently. But yeah, let me go home. I can show you what I got. And I uh, actually didn't look under those tarps. I wonder if there's anything good under there I missed. Um, I don't know, but I'll go home. Let's take a look at what I found today. It is time to go over the garage sale finds and the first items I got here are these Stephen King books. Saw these in a basket and just decided to grab the whole basket, buy them all because I can lot these together. The last lot like this I sold for about sixty-some dollars plus shipping. Paid twenty dollars for all these books. I usually do hardcover lots and softcover lots, and I have enough now for I've picked up for Goodwill and other garage sales to do the paperback and uh, yeah we'll wait and get a few more hardcover and sell them that way unfortunately no incredible ones in here like the stand the shining which i've sold the shining twice 
uh, for about 70 some dollars first edition. The first print of that book can go for hundreds if not into the thousands. I don't know if any of the first edition first prints are going to be worth selling of these books. A lot of the newer ones not so much. Either way we're making some great profit on these in the end. Here I have some Skyland figures I picked up. I paid seven dollars for these. I think there's nine of them but they are all the giant ones, the larger ones. You know there's a little bit of money to be made here. I'll probably make ten dollars profit in the end. I'm just going to lot them all together and sell them that way. We picked up one of these Thanos I picked up one or two of these already and I usually get them at Goodwill for $1.99. For 25 cents it's great picking up because you can sell these by themselves for about $12 plus shipping so you know in the end you're making some pretty good profit. The other ones I bought I'm just going to lot together with a bunch of these other Titan figures. So between both of these items you're looking at like $20 profit. Here we have a couple items. A marmot bag I picked up for $10 at the yard sale. It's a really nice bag. I thought, you know what, maybe I'll keep this for myself. There's actually none listed that I saw. And the five or six that were listed have sold, which is a good sign. So in between $30 and $50 it looks like. I'll probably price this $50 plus shipping. Right here I bought this for $3, a Weber grill cover. I didn't look it up, but wow, I was surprised when I looked it up on eBay. Some of these were selling for $50, $60 it was looking like. So yeah, that's a great pickup there. Two home medics massagers in one day. <laughs> we got this one right here, the heated one. I paid $5 for this one in the box, all the attachments. I believe it sells for about $40 plus shipping. I mention all the time because I pick these up all the time that I've always been able to sell these. They always move. I probably sold at least two dozen of these. Um, over the past how many ever years. This one I picked up for three dollars. It still had like a tag on it. Uh, it didn't have the extra attachments. I believe this one's heated as well. But I'll still be able to sell this for twenty dollars plus shipping and it's just going to move. It's just going to sell. I'm confident it's going to sell. So that's why I pick them up. And this is an incredible pickup. Lego sealed. I always try to pick this stuff up especially for five dollars at a yard sale. This is selling on Amazon for about seventy dollars new. Unfortunately it's got that damage right there. But you know what I'll do? I'll sell it on Amazon. I'll price it $5 cheaper. Put in the condition notes that the box has some damage and it will still sell. I do that all the time with Legos. It's just crazy. Lego is such... <laughs> It's like gold. Sometimes it's better than gold. Here are a couple of nice pickups. This L.L. Bean messenger bag. Unfortunately, this has a little bit of wear in certain spots and they had $10 on it. And I asked the lady, could you do any better on this? Because it's got some damage. And she said, well, it's not that bad. Uh, and eventually we settled on $7. I don't know how that damage is going to affect the sale on this, but uh, I didn't look it up, but I know the L.L. Bean vintage even tote bags, like canvas tote bags that are vintage, they can sell for $100, $200, $300 dollars in some cases. So I knew this was worth picking up for $7. I just don't know how the condition will affect the value. In good condition, I think this is a $75 to $100 bag, no issues. But I'm guessing, you know, I can still make, we'll just say $40 on this. And then this is incredible. Uh, I've paid $5 for this Leatherman multi-tool plier set and this is another item i just bought because you know i figured it's worth more than five dollars none on ebay currently but there's two solds one sold for 75 dollars plus shipping and the other sold for i think it was 50 some dollars plus shipping on auction i'm pricing this minimum 75 dollars probably just price it 79.99 plus shipping so I picked up a couple of tailor-made golf clubs and of course i don't know a whole lot about golf clubs but tailor-made is definitely a brand i keep an eye out for and if they're cheap enough, I just buy them. These were $3, so that qualified for me buying them. Uh, they're in pretty good condition. They're left hand. I don't know if that really makes a difference um, in value of more people because left hand is probably more, more hard to get, I would assume. Maybe the price goes up a little bit. Still, it looked like these were selling between $35, $45 on eBay. Uh, so yeah, I think we did pretty good on these. Picked up this Tommy Hill figure, Beverly Hills hat. Oddly enough, I did a search for this hat. I could not find any comps. I don't think it's one of those counterfeit ones. It looks, you know, it looks real. But some Tommy Hilfiger hats, like the sport yellow ones, uh, vintage, they can go over a hundred bucks. I paid $2 for this one. I'll probably just price it about $30 to see if it sells. Uh, it's just kind of weird that I couldn't find any comps for that. I'll probably have to look again. I did look pretty quick, so I might've just missed some. We picked up one of these Clairol hair setters for $5. I've sold these before and I sell them for about $35, $40 plus shipping. I only buy them if they're clean because I don't want to spend time picking hair out of all of these. And if they have the little, what are they called, clips, I guess. And of course the price being $5 or less makes it worth picking up. So 
Probably make about $25 on that. So here is a great video game pickup, and this is not even the best video game stuff I got today. I picked up this Xbox One for $20, and this unit and the controller, I think, sell for about $175 plus shipping. Got the power supply with it. Uh, we got an Xbox 360 controller, which I picked up for uh, $2, I think. I paid a dollar a piece for these games. There were a lot of games there, but it was the case where a lot of them were missing the disc, and there's a lot of low-end games. So I picked out three that were better, that were complete. Donkey Kong Country Returns is like a $20 game. The other two, I think, are about $15 to $20. They're complete. They look like they're in good t condition, so happy to pick those up. I also got the Xbox One Connect, which sell them for about $60 used on Amazon, so that's probably where I'll sell that. There were a couple more Xboxes there for parts I could have picked up, but I ended up leaving them. Just didn't want to mess with them. There could have been some money made uh, just selling them for parts. She did tell me that this one worked and the other Xbox 360s did not, so hopefully it does. Either way, I think for parts, I would still make money on that, so it's still a great pickup. And then finally, I got these video game items and I was lucky to get them because the lady didn't really want to sell them. They were just setting up their yard sale and I asked if they had any video games and the lady said well we got a bag in the basement I don't know if my husband wants to sell them or not and whoever was there with her I gotta give props out to her she's like just go get them and just sell them and so she went to into our house brought them out and I didn't expect much because a lot of times it's, that kind of stuff is it's going to be like Xbox games or something not worthwhile when I started digging through the bag she brought out I was extremely thrilled with what I was seeing Dreamcast GameCube some games I was trying to get a price from her and she wouldn't give me a price she's like I don't know I don't know I probably shouldn't be selling this stuff. So I just offered $50 for all of it. I did leave a few things. I picked out this stuff. There is some other Xbox, just trash games. And um, <laughs> there was a, a modem in there I didn't want. I offered $50 and she instantly said, okay. I probably could have got it cheaper, but what I didn't want to do is just, you know, offer like 20 bucks or something. And her be like, eh, maybe I'll better talk to my husband. I just wanted to convince her that I wanted to buy it. So I threw out $50 and she accepted. She also said she had a Nintendo and stuff, but she didn't know where it was. And uh, maybe some more games for the GameCube. She took my number. You know how that goes. I've had, out of probably giving my number out 100 times, I've had one person actually ever contact me. Plus, I think when her husband gets home and realizes she sold that stuff, he probably would just divorce her. <laughs> probably never see that. The, the Nintendo stuff. Let's go over it real quick. I got a GameCube. You know, GameCubes, they're not the highest dollar items, but uh, with the controllers, it still sells for a hundred bucks. Has all the cables for these systems. I just still have them in the bag. Didn't want to throw them on the, the table. The controllers are clean and good condition. The Dreamcast, you don't find these very often. Pretty clean for a Dreamcast. I think the other two, two or three I've found in the wild, they're pretty dirty and yellowed. Comes with three controllers in great condition. You got some of the memory packs. You got the little vmu units that go with them and these things sell for about 20 25 dollars by themselves not sure what the dreamcasts are selling for right now i think about 100 150 maybe 175 with the controllers i could be off i don't find this stuff enough to keep up with the prices but here are the games you know you got sydney 2000 uh not the greatest game still you know 15 dollar game just because it's dreamcast i think this is 15 20 house of the dead 2 is like 30 35 dollars then we got this 4x4 Evo. This was in the system. And the only GameCube game I popped open was the exact same 4x4 Evo, which I'm pretty sure is just kind of one of the lowest end GameCube games. GameCube have so many killer titles that are over $100 just for the games. And I don't want to make it sound like I'm complaining, but wow, I really wish this lot just had some killer GameCube games because they're so hard to find. I picked up these 360 games, Silent Hill, which I thought was worth more, um, about $15, $20. It must be the PS3 version was worth more I picked up, or maybe it's another Silent Hill. I just grabbed these, I threw in there because I was paying $50 anyway. Uh, nothing special on those. But yeah, I'll have to add all this up and put an estimate of how much value I think it is after selling it and fees and shipping and all that. It's been a great season so far. The best season for yard sales in probably three three to five years maybe. I just keep finding great video game stuff this season. That's why you ask. I found my best stuff just by asking if there's any game stuff they want to sell. That's going to do it for the video everybody. I really want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. Be subscribed if you want to see more of my garage sale finds so you can get ideas on what you can look for and sell and flip. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.